Left-leaning news outlets have largely ignored the unfolding crisis at the southern border. But when they have covered it, it's mostly to criticize Republican governors and their publicity stunts in sending migrants to liberal enclaves. Well, now another governor has entered the fray, and this time it's a Democrat trying to bring attention to this serious problem. Last summer, there were nonstop coverage of buses and sometimes planes filled with migrants dropped off in East Coast cities, vacation destinations like Martha's Vineyard, and even the residence of Vice President Kamala Harris. No doubt they were stunts. And they led to predictable reaction from the mainstream and left-leaning political media. We're seeing Republican Florida man uh, Ron DeSantis do this. We're seeing in Texas Republican Greg Abbott do this. This sounds like it could be breaking the law. I mean, is this human trafficking? Is this kidnapping? Is this legal? That depending on what the migrants were told, transporting them might run afoul of smuggling laws. Political human trafficking being used as political props to own the libs uh, and, uh, and, and being treated horribly. Yes, it was political theater. Designed by Republican governors trying to sound the alarm on just how grave the problem is in southern border states. But yes, they also have a real point. And also, yes, there was a much better way to do it without using the migrants as pawns. But now a Democratic governor from a non-border state is doing something similar and there's been little coverage from the left-leaning news networks. Colorado Governor Jared Polis is sending migrants to major cities, including New York, whose mayor, Eric Adams, warned Tuesday that the nation's largest city is already struggling to deal with an influx of migrants sent from Texas and other Republican-led states. We were notified, I uh, said we were notified yesterday that the governor of Colorado is now stating that they are going to be sending migrants to places like New York and Chicago. Uh, this is just unfair uh, for local governments to have to take on this national obligation. He has a point, but it's one that Governors Abbott and DeSantis and Ducey from Arizona have long been making, that this is a national problem and not just a local one. Now, it's true. Billions of federal dollars are going to border states to address the immigration problem. But it's not just about the money, as Mayor Eric Adams highlighted. And it's a real embarrassment, I believe, on a national level. And we must have an appropriate response. We, we have had conversations around the issues on migrants for decades. This is a national issue. It must have a national response. He's right. It has to be dealt with on a national level. And yet the previous Congress wouldn't do it, and neither will the new one. It's just too politically fraught to get any consensus, which is absurd, but is the reality. Now, like many major cities around the country, Denver's been struggling to provide services for a surge of those who fled and South America and Central America across the southern border, sought asylum in the U.S. over the past month. More than 3,500 migrants arrived in Denver, and each night around 1,800, they say, Asylum seekers have sought shelter in the city. In response, the Denver mayor launched a fund to raise money to support services for migrants. Governor Polis said the state recently made $5 million available to assist with expenses. But roughly 70% of the asylum seekers who arrive in Denver are traveling to other destinations, meaning that Colorado would say they're just helping them get to where they were seeking to go. And yet in Texas and Florida, they would say, Migrants agreed to be sent up north as well. It's a debatable question. But look, this is not apples to apples. With Governors Abbott and DeSantis sending migrants to cities with no coordination and sometimes no warning. But regardless, the point is that it is important to see here that a Democratic governor is highlighting the crisis even if he doesn't share a border with Mexico. We need to pay attention. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.